everyone, today's try on haul is a little bit different because first of all, it's filmed in two places. Some of it I filmed in my usual spot out in my foyer in front of my stairs, you're used to seeing that. Some of it was filmed on location. I recently had the opportunity to travel up to Dallas and attend a luncheon that was hosted by Avara, a boutique I've talked about here a lot. It was to launch their fall preview collection. And because I got there a day early, I actually had the opportunity to stop by the Avara corporate offices, meet the whole team in person, finally, and kind of see where all the magic happens. And then we decided to just do a little impromptu film try-on situation over there. Very impromptu. I didn't do it in the area where they have set up for actual filming. I was in the warehouse. I will have everything numbered up here on the screen so you can easily find those same pieces down in the description box. And I will also pin all that information to the top of the comments. The other part of this video that's a little different is because this was a little bit of a travel vlog, I do have some pictures and video to share with you. So the whole point of going up to Dallas, like I said, was to go to this luncheon hosted by Avara. And it was fantastic because there were, I think, 11 influencers all together. Some of these women I have known for close to a decade. Some of these women I am already fans of and follow on social media, but I've never had the chance to meet them. And some of them I was meeting and getting to know them, know them for the very first time. So I'm excited to introduce you to all of them. So please watch through the whole thing so you can see some pictures and stuff from the event. And while this is not sponsored, I do have a relationship with Avara and they very kindly reset my discount code. So my 15% off code gold15 is back in effect whether you've used it already this year or not. Everybody gets another crack at one more purchase with 15% off. All right, let's start with the tops. So this first top is called the Jade Top and it is perfect to wear now. It can easily transition into fall as all of these pieces that I'm gonna show with you can do. It's very soft, it's very silky. It is a little oversized. It comes in small, medium, and large and I'm wearing the small and as you can see, it's very generous in the material. It's also really, really comfortable and it doesn't wrinkle. This is the top that I wore and what turned out to be closer to a five hour drive up to Dallas and I went straight from the car, dropped off right in front of their offices and proceeded to film a try on. So this outfit is very, very travel friendly, especially if you are going directly from the car or the plane to a meeting or some sort of event. I absolutely love it. It comes in a green option and a blue option. I will link both of them in the description box. The second top is called the mini top and it is a button up shirt all the way. And it's a really unique kind of, almost like a mock turtleneck. It's a stand-up collar. You could unbutton the shirt and iron it so that it stays open, but it is meant to lay flat and have the neck stand up. A Little bit almost of like a cap sleeve on the top. It's a nice twist on more of a traditional kind of like button down collar sort of shirt. So if you like that silhouette, but you want to try something a little bit different, I highly recommend it. The fabric is comfortable, but it's not the silky fabrication of the first top that I share with you. It's a little stiffer, so it, it holds its shape, which is really nice too. I also want to mention the jeans that I am wearing here in the try-on at home. You're gonna see them again in a second in the footage that I shot up in Dallas. I've had these jeans for a while. I wore them last year. Y'all love them. I love them as well. Last year I was wearing them in a size seven. This year I'm wearing them in a size five or I think it goes by waist size. So it was a 28, now I'm in a 27. They have a lot of stretch. They're very forgiving. They hold you in without being uncomfortable. And they're a nice raw hem, slightly cropped length. So if you need them to be a little bit shorter, I know I have a lot of petite women that are watching, easily just take a scissor to the bottom and you can make them the length that you need. Also the shoes that I'm wearing throughout the try on in Dallas are also from Avara. They're very comfortable black heeled sand, a little bit of a square toe. And what's great is, yes, there's a heel, but it's a slightly lower heel than what I usually show. So if you're looking for something that's closer to the two inch height, I think you're really gonna like these. And the color goes with all the things. You can wear it now and all the way through fall, unless it snows where you live. So now it is time to travel virtually back in time and four and a half hours north to Dallas. Let's check in at the Avara warehouse. Hey everyone, I am not at home. As you can see, I am where the magic happens. I'm at the Avara warehouse and office and all that. And they let me go play in their fall preview line, or I guess it's like the early fall release. So this is brand, the shirt is brand new and I absolutely love it. And for my Longhorn fans, I think this qualifies as burnt orange. The cuffs are super cool. They actually zip. So if you wanted a more fitted look, 
or you could fold them back. I'm wearing it in an extra small. This is the top for everyone who is sick of summer, but we're fully aware that fall temperatures are not coming. So this is just more fall colors, very muted taupes, soft oranges, little pops of color on the shoulders. And it does have my favorite strings with the little metal tabs here, which you know I will cut off. I just think this is a great way to feel like fall while accepting that it is still basically the seventh circle of hell outside. <clears throat> Very dusty in Dallas, so losing my voice, but wearing this in a small. I am very excited about this top, and I know a lot of you will be as well because I hear you. Not everyone is into the florals and the ruffles and the embellishments, and this is very understated, a little more minimalist, very wearable, bringing in the fall colors, but making it wearable for summer. And what's nice is the way it drapes, easily worn well into the fall, just throw a blazer or cardigan over it, buttons all the way down. I really like the banded collar. I feel like that makes it a little more wearable. I like the way the sleeve, it's like a cap sleeve that drapes. So a little more arm coverage. I didn't tuck it in. I wanted you to see the full length. Love the color. Feels kind of like linen, but it's not. It's so that's actually a good thing because it's gonna wear nicer and it can transition well into fall that way as well. And I'm wearing it in a size small. I think this is the last of the tops and then I'm gonna change into a bunch of dresses that I'm very excited about because when it's super hot out, I really just wanna be in a dress. I can't even believe I have jeans on right now, but let's talk about this top. So I love that it's kind of a, I mean, it's a floral if you look at it really closely, but it's very abstract. It's not quite so girly feminine and the colors are really unique. I love the collar, the way it stands up and no strings to cut off. The sleeves are nice because there's elastic around the cuff so you can pull it up a little if you want to have it more of a puffy sleeve or just pull the sleeves down and they will be closer to the arm. And then I did the front tuck, but just so you can see how long. And if you didn't want to wear this with jeans right now, I would say grab your favorite pair of black or navy linen joggers and this would work really well with that as well as well. This dress is a surprise. I saw it on the hanger and I was like, mm, I don't know. I am so glad I tried this on. So if you saw my fall trends video, you know the hourglass silhouette is big and this really helps emphasize or give you an hourglass shape. It's ruched and it's elastic and it really feels nice on the waist. I wouldn't say that this dress runs small or big, but because it's fitted, I'd say just get your true size. Here's what I love about this dress. Normally I hate the ties and I didn't tie it all the way shut, but this is the look of the dress with it tied. And then it's a totally, I feel different look, kind of wear it two ways when you open it up. I would just loosely tie it in a knot down here and pockets. I love it now with sandals and I am gonna love it in the fall with maybe some chocolate boots, like knee high boots. So glad I tried this one on, wearing a small. This dress, again, with the silhouette, all of my Aggie fans, dare I say Mississippi State Bulldogs, here's your color. For the rest of us who just enjoy fall, this is such a wearable, pretty color for so many complexions. This dress in particular reminds me of a dress I got from J. Crew years ago, absolutely loved, and of course they don't carry it anymore. Very similar, it's basically a very non-traditional, not very, but it's another way to look at a shirt dress because it fully buttons all the way down from the collar to the hem. It does have pockets and this bow, yeah, the belt comes off. So you can replace this if you wanted a different belt, but I actually like the way it ties. I love the little poof here. It's not crazy. So it's wearable now in the 100 degree weather and it'll be perfect for anything you have going on in into fall. This is definitely a contender for holly, high holiday services for me. Okay, we're back in San Antonio and now we're gonna talk about some dresses that I tried on here and then I have some more that I shared up there. So first let's start with this dress that, I don't wanna say it's my favorite dress, but the name is my favorite dress. And I didn't even realize it when I first shared it. It's the Marnie dress. It's not my, like I didn't design it. It just came named Marnie, spelled correctly, M-A-R-N-I-E. I absolutely love it. I have some pictures here. The reason why I'm not modeling it for you is I went to put it on and didn't realize that I had dripped some sort of Bernays sauce, I think is what is on the bodice. When we were in Dallas, I wore it to dinner, so that needs to be washed. And as an FYI, it's 100% cotton, just 
th I'm throwing it in my washing machine on, co on the cold cycle, delicate, and then I'm just gonna hang it to dry. So love that it's machine washable. And I'm, while I'm here talking about washable or not washable, I wash everything. Even if it says dry clean only, if I'm really not sure how it's gonna do in the wash, I'll use the Woolite at home dry cleaning kit that you just put in the dryer. But most of the time, I'll just wash it on delicate and either hang it to dry or lay it flat. So that's me and my relationship with dry clean only or hand wash only, no. Okay, so the Marnie top, like Marnie dress, I should say. Gorgeous color blue. I love the dramatic sleeves, but they're not overly stiff and the flowing skirts. I actually wore this to a little date night that we had up in Dallas. We had dinner at the nice restaurant that was at the resort we stayed at. We stayed at the Las Colinas Resort. The food was incredible. And I felt very beautiful in that dress. It's a really, really pretty dress. Love how it flows. What would have made this dress perfect, of course, were pockets. Didn't have it, but I think that would have messed with the lines of the dress, so we'll let it go. The dress that I actually wore to the luncheon they had sent to me first so that it was kind of cool. All of us showed up to the event wearing a dress from the fall collection, which was really fun. And you'll see pictures of that at the end of this, but the dress that I wore and I think is the perfect fall dress that you can wear right now. It's called the Kai dress. It's a shirt dress. It has pockets. Now it does come with a raffia belt that of course I accidentally left in Dallas. I am wearing it with my own favorite skinny belt that I get from Amazon. I think I have three or four of them now and I will link it below. They come in different colors. They're fully adjustable. So they will fit a range of sizes or wherever you want to place it on your body which I love. So like I said, you could wear it now because it's lightweight, it's flowy. You can unbutton from the bottom, show a little more leg. That's what I did. You can switch up the footwear when it gets cooler. It's gonna look fantastic with some knee high boots, throw a blazer over it. You could even belt a blazer over it. There's just a lot you can do with it. And I say that it's a perfect fall event dress because whether you have a church event, you have high holiday services, you have a fall luncheon, you work in a more corporate type office and you need something more conservative, this dress can work for so many things. It's very affordable for what it is and it's going to sell out. So my recommendation is to grab this one now and then you'll have it for months. I think this is the outstanding piece of the collection. Am I biased? Yes, because it's the one I picked, but I really like it. The last dress I wanna show you is actually not from their fall preview collection. It's from their game day collection. And I chose something to represent the University of Mississippi. I did not attend Ole Miss, neither did my husband, but both of our kids did and graduated from there. So in some ways I feel like I have a bigger connection to Ole Miss because I actually paid for that experience. I myself am an alumni of the University of Illinois, go fighting Illini. So I picked this dress also because it's just a solid color. It's not specifically for the University of Mississippi. Red is a big color this fall. So it's just gonna work actually right now in 100 degree weather and it's great for the fall football season as well. It does have pockets, it's a drop waist. I love Avara's game day collection. They released one last year and this year is even bigger. So I'll put a link in the description box to the entire collection. They have it where you can sort it by school specific wear and they also have it by color, which is fantastic because they do have a lot of bright orange, which I believe they think is for Tennessee and Auburn. But when I see bright orange, I also in my head see Navy and I think University of Illinois and UTSA Roadrunners. So whether your school is specifically represented in their game day collection or not, you can find your school colors, even high school colors. And I think it's really fun to dress and I'm a big fan of school spirit. I just, I love it. And speaking of school spirit, although we're gonna start with, this, with the bag strap and we'll go, we'll go from there. You'll see what I'm talking about. I did pick something that is very much specific to the University of Mississippi. I found this really cute beaded bag strap in their Game day collection, they do have most of the SEC and Big 12 schools in there as well. If you are not an Ole Miss Rebels fan, you should be. But anyway, these are really nice beaded, really heavy construction. Crossbody, they're not adjustable. And I chose it to go with this bag, which is technically part of their game day collection. It's hard to, it's clear, it's reflecting all the light. It's just, I picked an ivory color. I wanted something neutral because the reality is both my kids graduated. I don't see myself going out to Oxford, Mississippi anytime soon to attend a football game. And it's gonna be a little bit because, before they are officially coming out here to Texas to play UT or A&M. So I do still need a clear bag though for things like other sporting events and concerts. So I went with this ivory one 
And I love that it comes with a very neutral beige and taupe adjustable crossbody strap. So very handy thing to have. Everyone needs a good, sturdy, clear bag in their collection. As promised, you wanted some photos from the event. So it was held at 60 Vines in Dallas, which is near the Crescent Court area of Dallas, near the Crescent Hotel. And it was really fun to see all these women, many who, like I said, I've known for close to a decade, some who I was just meeting in person for the first time. The food was incredible. The service was incredible. The florals was actually designed by Something Pretty Florals, who is also an influencer, but she does some amazing events. She's done a lot of my friends' weddings and baby showers. They were absolutely stunning. And it was just fun to spend time with a group of women who have similar interests to mine. We could talk about things and just connect. And it was a nice way to spend a few hours. So it was definitely worth the trip up to Dallas. Like I said, my discount code is still working. Gold15 will get you 15% off. If you have any questions about any of the things that I have shared, please let me know down in the comments. I'm here to help. I hope you had fun going on a mini trip with me to Dallas. I have some more travel coming up and I cannot wait to take you along. So make sure you're subscribed. I hope you had fun today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.